Hey, this is the fourth part devoted to development of raw images in 3D LUT Creator. I will show you a couple more tricks that may be useful to you, as well as show you how you can further process photos and work with original raw data directly in Photoshop. As an example, I have a photograph sent by Elena Ko. It was taken with Sony A7 Mark II. The photograph was developed in RAW Pro Photo Color Space, so that I have a large color gamut. First of all, I will change the sensor cutoff so white balance sliders can also affect the highlights. I'm going to start with the sky, so I'll decrease the exposure until I get rid of overexposed highlights and develop details. I tweak the contrast, add saturation, add dynamic range, and set blacks. I prefer warmer sky, so I'm going to warm its color with white balance. A yellow halo has appeared around the sun. I will fix it on CL grids. I will decrease saturation of the oversaturated yellow. Let's see how it looks up close. Here is before applying CL grids, and here is after. I'm going to increase saturation with Satluma Curve and use CMYK2 curves to adjust the color of the sky. I'm done with the sky. What can I do next? I will compile my edit into external lot but I will not reset the settings. Now I will change the external LUT mode to Masked Alt. I will make a mask based on image warmth. Let me remind you that Masked Alt mode allows mixing external LUT and current processing in the program. External LUT affects dark areas of the mask. In my case, external LUT will grade the sky. The sky is warm, so I'll make it black on the mask. Now I can go back to AB tab and grade Winter Forest. I will make white balance colder and add exposure. Make the shadows even lighter. I will adjust the forest color with the help of curves. In the shadows, the forest will be bluer, and in the highlights, I will add more magenta. Firstly, because sunlight hits the trees, and secondly, there is less chance of getting artifacts at the border of treetops and the sky. Here is such a development I got. Let's send everything to Photoshop. I have no images opened in Photoshop, so both the development file and my color correction are transferred from 3D LUT Creator. I'll check right away for artifacts around the sun. Everything is fine here. What else can you do here? I will name the layer Log Develop for convenience. This layer will develop logarithmic image. Now I switch to 3D LUT Creator. Here I select new versions of Edit and go to AB tab. Someone has probably already noticed that we have both an input log profile, it is log C for a photo, and an output log profile. If I also select log C in the output profile, then my changes to the white balance, channel mixer, exposure, as well as some other tools on the AB tab, will be recorded for logarithmic data. And after applying this LUT, I will get logarithmic data also. Let's create a LUT that adds exposure. I will send it to Photoshop and place it under the development layer. That is, this layer will raise the exposure by one stop. Why not do this after development? What is the difference? My color corrections under development layer will work as carefully as possible with the original raw data that was recorded from the camera sensor. That is, now I will be lightening shadows directly from raw data and not from an already developed image. What is the easiest way to do this? I'm going to make a quick mask. I'll see which channel suits me better for lightening shadows. I'm choosing the blue channel. I click on it while holding down Control key and make a selection. Then I click on the layer mask. The color in the palette should be white, and I fill the mask. This is the mask I get. I invert it so it affects mainly the shadows and pine trunks. 
Here is before, and here is after. It's not just the shadows that have become lighter, so I'll add another mask. I'm creating a group, placing the mask layer into the group, and creating a separate mask for the group. Now I can quickly paint the areas that I want to highlight with a brush. If you want to enhance the effect, the exposure layer can be duplicated. If it's too much, you can always reduce the opacity. I will name this group Shadows. What other LUTs can I create? I will make a LUT with a warm white balance to grade the trunks of the pine trees. I'll send it to Photoshop. I'll name it White Balance. I will fill the layer mask with black and draw trunks on it. You can create another mask, but there are not so many of them. So I will do it manually with a brush. Likewise, you can adjust the white balance for reflections in other photos. It is much more convenient to do this before raw development, because the development will add a contrast to an image. And after applying the contrast curve, white balance will not affect highlights, midtones, and shadows equally. Here is before, here is after. Looks much better. Let me remind you that now I am working with the original logarithmic data, and in 3D LUT Creator, I do not use noise reduction. So if you have a noisy photo, you can reduce noise in Photoshop. This picture is not noisy, so I will use the built-in filter. If you want to slightly tweak the color at the end of the main processing, you can do this using LUT, which works with developed data. To make such LUT, I will go to 3D LUT Creator, reset all settings, and click Image from PS. That is, I will load the developed image. I will correct the color using double grid mode. I will make the sky crimson, which often happens in winter in freezing weather. And I will make the forest a little colder. I am sending this LUT to Photoshop. I'll name this layer Edit. That LUT works with data after the development. So if I place it below the development layer, I get this. That color correction is designed to work with a developed image. It is suitable for JPEGs, but not for logarithmic data. This is my final result. And that's all. I hope this tutorial will open up new horizons for you to develop raw photos and edit them using 3D LUT Creator and Photoshop. If you want your photos to be processed, you can send them to my mail, which I put in the video description. Like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. Bye everyone!